Hi, this is Dr. Angie Parrick from Sarasota Vascular Specialist, and welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. Today, we're going to talk about the severest form of aortoiliac disease. What does that mean? That means when your heart pumps blood, all that good blood has to go to everywhere, including your belly, your legs, so that you're, you can walk, you can have energy, and you should be able to function. But in some people, they have significant atherosclerotic or plaque disease buildup, and this is the aorta, that they cannot have adequate blood going down. So when the heart pumps blood, it comes out and perfuses your brain, your arms, and then it comes down the chest looking like a question mark, and then it goes down into the belly area, and this is where we're looking looking at below your diaphragm. Once it crosses the diaphragm, it gives blood flow your, to your gut, to your kidneys, the right and the left renals. And then below it comes down and it splits to go to the leg around your belly button area. Some people have very significant disease in that area between your diaphragm and your belly button or just below the belly button to the point that they are not having almost any significant amount of blood flow to the bottom portion of their body. It causes pain with water walking. Some people it causes gangrene or ischemia. In men, it can cause impotence. These are not small things. These are very traumatic things for your body to go through. At the end of the day, some type of a reconstruction that is open-based. That means this is below the diaphragm, above your belly button. So in the middle of your body, you're going to have to make a big cut down your belly. And then we're going to have to cut out this portion of your aorta or your blood vessel. And then we're going to have to sew a new segment onto that. That means at the end of the day, when you're done with everything, you're going to have a huge cut going up and down your belly. It's going to be a pretty significant recovery because it's a significantly traumatic event to your body. So what is CRAP? CRAP means you're doing the same thing, but now with just two little punctures in the groin area. With those little punctures, we put in little wires that can go up. And through those wires, we put in different techniques. But at the end of the day, you have covered stents going on and covers that entire area and squashes that plaque out of your body. And then you have two other ones that come up and then opens it up and squashes out of the body. The outcomes in terms of long-term patency, how long these stents last are just equally as good, but you get away with not having a big open incision. You get away with just two little punctures in the groin area. So thank you for joining me on Whiteboard Wednesdays and see you next week.